it's wednesday i welcome you to ghana tennis tv it's round table with me gabriel Mwaku. i have here with me tennis foundation ghana president mr roger crawford to tell us about a petition he presented to ghana tennis federation legal and constitutional committee welcome mr roger crawford thank you gabby thanks for having me all right um Tell us a bit about um, the petition you presented to Ghana Tennis Federation Legal and Constitutional Committee. Uh, thanks very much, Gabby. As you know, um, a couple of weeks ago in, a, in Accra, I uh, presented a petition. I started a petition, first of all, to basically uh, send a message to the Ghana Tennis Federation, which I'm a part of, that uh, it's long overdue for us to have um, uh, an honorary general meeting. As you know, organizations like ours usually meet once a year, even as our constitution even outlines, so that we can take stock of what we've done and then uh, uh, basically brainstorm as to what needs to be done going forward to improve our improve our lot. So I started a petition. I think the petition now has gathered over 180 signatures. I already presented the petition uh, when we got 120 signatures to and the head of the legal and constitutional committee of the Ghana Tennis Federation, Mr. Uh, Philip Mensah. So um, I know that the, uh, his committee has started work on it and there's talk about uh, putting together the annual general meeting. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, um, what's your view about the GTF trying to change the constitution to let clubs vote instead of the regions? Oh my goodness, I am... Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot topic, but it needs to be, you know, it needs to be addressed. Um, I mean, it's something that has been uh, in the works or, or, or people are spoken about for some time now. I think it's wrong because it's going to disenfranchise a lot of our brothers and sisters from the regions. You know, uh, if you're talking clubs uh, having the power to vote instead of the, um, instead of the regional associations, what happens is that uh, if you look at a, a place like Accra, Accra has not at least maybe 40 tennis clubs. That means that if every club in Accra is yeah. voting, yeah. If, if every, every club in Accra is voting, that means Accra alone gets the lion's share of who gets to make the decisions in Ghana tennis, which is already the case, but it is actually going to take away from, from the regions because if you look at, I mean, a region like the, uh, uh, the three northern regions, they all have, a, I mean, one club each. I mean, then there are new regions coming up. Nobody knows how many clubs they're going to have. This is going to bring honestly chaos, as I uh, I wrote uh, in my little piece yesterday. There is there is no need for any of that. I think what needs to be done is uh, for us to strengthen, and I say us because I consider myself a big part of the Ghana Tennis Federation, that we need to strengthen the regional associations so they can function and can do uh, work on the ground so that they, they, in turn, when they get to national, they'll be able to lobby for their various regions. That's how tennis development is going to happen. Now, um, I, I, I mentioned recently, I believe in my piece yesterday, that I believe that the, the, the constitution of the executive board should be members of the regional associations. In other words, the regional chairmen and women should be the people who form the national board. Then the national board will have a true identity of a board that is working for, for, for the country. As it is now, through no fault of this current administration, there are, the, the board is considered of, uh, with about maybe 95%, 99% of, of, of people from Accra, and maybe only one person, uh, Samson Saib, who actually lived in Accra when he, when he was uh, elected, as far as I know. And yes, I yeah, yeah. In, 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 moved in, to the in, northern region. Probably. So if you, if you have 100% of people on the executive board, making decisions for the rest of the country, I think it's just wrong. If I lived in any of the regions, I'm not going to be happy uh, with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Um, TFG started and TFG came out with a laudable idea, having a membership card, registering members all over. We had a lot of people to register and it, 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 it went far. I, I, I even followed it. We went to the Shanti region to do registration of members. And um, there, there are rumors going on that TLG is still keeping money, money that belongs to the Federation. Um, why is TLG still keeping the money that belongs to the Federation? 
does the membership card belong does it belong to the federation or it belongs to tfg that this is the this is the the card you're talking about you see everybody can see it this is the front of the card Ghana tennis federation and then uh, uh we did at a time that the Ghana tennis federation we didn't have uh, its own website if you can see it so we had uh, Ghana tennis .org yeah. and, and then uh, tennis uh there and this is the back of the card with the membership um uh, what's it called? Number. So the history of this card is simple. I believe in 2017, 2018, I came up with the idea. I, Roger Crawford, came up with the idea that Ghana Tennis needs an avenue to make money or bring money to be able for us to at least afford subscription fees to the ITF. That is what is done everywhere in the world, including here in the US, with all the money there is. Members of the various associations or federations buy subscription or, or pay dues to the, to the national uh, uh, association, which in, in turn pays the ITF with that. So I said, why don't shouldn't we do that in Ghana? So I got on the phone. I spoke to the president of the federation, Mr. Isaac Bedia, and uh, his right-hand man, Henry Bonikwashi. And we brainstormed about different things to do with it and all that. Right? So... Tennis Foundation kind of came. I ordered a brand new laptop, which we put in the office of the stadium, a printer, a special print, a thermal printer to print uh, for the back of these things. I ordered about a thousand of these things. And then on top of it all, subscribed to a website, which will pay $500 every year to be able to put the membership details there. The advantage of this was that we were going to be able to have money to pay uh, affiliation fees. Number two, we we're going to be able to have records on all players in the country so for example the, see we've always had had um uh, a problem with some kids um coming in and saying and, and and reducing their ages for example it's 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 all over the place right yeah this card was going to have them basically commit and have their details in the system so they can come back the next year and say hey my age is the same or reduce the age i'm still playing at 12 right which we get a lot of. So we did that. We, we, we got over 480 people to sign up. I remember Mr. Isaac Tomega Agassi's uh, dad paying about 300 cities. He's like, this is a great idea. He paid 300 cities. Instead of the 20 cities we're asking for, for per person, he said, I'll pay 50, uh, uh, um, 300 cities, pay for his, his kids. A bunch of other people came in, uh, contributed money to us and, and all that because they saw it was a great idea. What happened? 20, October 2019, I challenged um, Isaac um, Abedi on the, on the, for the presidency and all hell broke loose. So that after the, pre after the elections, um, I didn't hear this from him, so I can't say it was him, but I know that um, um, Jesse DeBots and, and um, uh, what's his name, Henry, were behind this because they pressured the Secretary General to tell us to shut down the membership website and everything. So we shut it down because I, I reluctantly shut it down because I didn't, I, I, I said, okay, fine. If they said they are going to do it, they should be able to do it. So true, finally they came out with their website and said they were going to do membership and all. And that's the last you heard of it. Gabriel, you were involved in that, in that project. Can yeah. you imagine yeah. how far we would have gone with this? If we had gone, how far, I, I mean, all over the country, if we had this going on, where people were paying 20, 20 cities a, a, a month towards subscription fees to the National Federation. You know, um, someone like Henry made, you know, it's still a comment yesterday, like, oh, you still have the money from the Federation. Yes, it's about 2,000 cities. That's what I feed my family with. You know, if I don't have that 2,000 cities, I'm not going to be able to feed my family. So I'm keeping the money. You know, it's, it's really close. The most important things that need to be done for the Federation to move forward are being ignored. It's not being ignored because they are bad people. It's just that they're not knowledgeable on these things. And look, take them away wherever you want. This is what I do every day for a living. And these are the things I keep telling people. These are the things that, and I'm not taking anything away from them. They should be able to do this. And if they need help, then they should ask the people who need, who, who know to help them. That's it. You know, so that's the, that's the story of the, of the, of the card. You have any more questions, sir? <laughs> you know, um, let's let, let me still ask about the cat. Assuming um, 2023, you become 
the president of Ghana Tennis Federation. I going to bring it back, registration of uh, this cast again to the system, or there's something new that you're going to bring on board to replace this card system. Gabby, as you know, we are Tennis Foundation Ghana, and myself, we are very open. We don't hide anything. I don't believe in secrecy, because secrecy actually destroys more than builds. Okay, yeah. when you are entrusted with a with with with, with a, um, a public entity, you you should be as open as possible. There is absolutely no doubt that we will bring this card back if we uh, and when we get the opportunity to to basically run the federation, we'll, we'll bring this card back in a heartbeat because this is actually going to throw us a lifeline to the much needed funds that we need. But the bigger question is. Why should somebody pay a subscription to the National Federation so they can get a card to do what? They, they, where is this card going to be accepted? For what? So now we have to start thinking, of what do we give the people, the clubs, as money likes to say, or the regional associations who buy into this subscription? What do they get in return? That's the multi million dollar question now. Do you, you get so what I'm saying? So, I, get, I get what you are saying. Yes. So there has to be something that they get back from the National Federation in order for them to contribute their 20 cities a month to this. And it could be a different figure. You know, they can come out and say, we, we, we don't want 20 cities, we want to pay 100 cities, whatever it is they want, they want to do. But they have to, you have to give them a reason for them to buy into this. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get, I get it. Absolutely. And so, um, I said, go ahead. I'm sorry. Can, can you give me two reasons why when you come, when you become the GTF president, uh, regions, other regions should buy into this card? Oh, do you, do you want me to share the, 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 the secret? It's not a secret, I'll tell you. <laughs> as I've always said, um, Gabby, as I've always said, tennis is three things. People, places, programs. Right? Yeah. If somebody's giving yeah. you and buying into your subscription. You have to be able to give them the people, the places, the program. People, right? People is the players, coaches, administrators, officials, any, anybody involved in tennis, you have to be able to give them that. How do you give them that? The very people in the regions have to be also be trained so that they can become coaches, they can become what? Officials, they can be, become um, administrators, they can become um uh, what's it whatever it is people do the people around tennis do that is one then the places the places simply refers to like facilities so like tennis courts uh, i'm not going to talk tennis shows because they're involved in tennis shows and i don't want to be biased but if you can give them facilities like a tennis a tennis um tennis courts which is the most important thing most people well, these places need you 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 you've done your 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 share or your your lot on your promise and you come to programs, is it going to be junior tennis uh, leagues? Is it going to be adult uh, leagues? Is it going to be social tennis? Give them something, right? Also provide them with the, 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 the equipment and all that, right? And for example, uh, I know in the Upper East region right now, they are, they, they are resurfacing one of their courts. National should yeah. go in and say, hey, you, you guys, we see you're re renovating your courts. What, what do you need? Okay, fine. Here is a, a, a big drum of paints for you to put it on your the, to, uh, as a contribution. Absolutely. Then when you ask that person to come with their $20, 20 cities a month, then they'll be able to do that. It's not a secret. Okay? Yeah. It's not a secret. Yeah. It's yeah, right. everywhere in the world. Because you can't take subscription from somebody and not give them any, anything in return. You take subscription from somebody, you give them something in return to, to, for them to keep coming. You know? But my biggest, my biggest, uh, uh, I'm going to share my biggest, uh, what's it called? I don't want to call it a fantasy, but my biggest idea is the day that all of Ghana tennis can converge in a place like the Upper East or Upper West region or, 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 or the Northern, some, some kind of forgotten place, say, right? All of us gather there They have a huge AGM, right? In like one of these beautiful hotels we saw there, have these people gather yeah, various working groups working on different things for, for, for just a weekend and then the next year it goes to a different place to do that enough with that crap enough you know so that development in Ghana will be truly national yeah yeah yeah
good to know that and good to hear that from you um tell us about uh under 12 championship where team ghana is only presenting three boys no girls in the team i mean now, as, now, as, now you want me now you, as, you want as, me to cry now <laughs> as, as a foundation president um how do you feel because you have organized a lot of tournament junior tournament um other foundations are also doing a lot of junior tournament but the federation came out with only three boys for under 12. as a foundation president how do you feel gabby i feel very very ashamed okay and all of us should, should feel very very ashamed we all come in all of us uh tennis foundation gonna hope foundation gonna pm sports this person that person not foundation all of us we say we help and we do this we're doing that we're doing that and at the end of the day we can't find three girls 12 and under to represent the country we've not done our work we have we, we, we can't blame anybody for that we cannot blame just the federation for that we can't blame uh we have to blame ourselves we definitely have to blame ourselves and 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 this is time for us to all go back on the drawing board and say what exactly are we doing right what exactly are we doing? are we in this so people will see us that hey we're doing this we're doing that or we're doing this truly for the country if we if we're doing for the country all of us are failed all of us we can't find three girls in a country of 30 million people okay i'm only I'm, listen we've been doing this for some time yes we yeah. uh they excuse some of this some of us uh, uh running these private foundations who says well we didn't know something like that was coming on and all that and so we're going to blame national for it but it's not it's not just national it's not just the federation all of us are involved in this all of us you know whether national does it or not so for for us i think it's it's high time we go back to the junior league because the junior league is, is, is always a big savior as i've always said it's the best and cost most cost effective way to raise champions or have people playing or a lot of our kids playing we got to go back to that that at least we know we have uh, kids 10 and under 12 and under 14 and under playing and then the 18s we're already covering them in 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 in, in ITS and the uh, national rankings but in the junior divisions I mean it's a shame how do we go and stand there when our other West African neighbors will show up with their girls and we don't have any because we did not plan yeah plan. yeah so we, exactly didn't right. before. we didn't have a succession plan that okay these girls are done so let's have the next we did the same thing with the boys by the way the our and the 14 boys who did well who were supposed to go to egypt we could they they, they they couldn't go first because there was no money and then secondly we didn't have a strong team to replace them so um you know all of us the foundations the coaches everybody we should all be uh we shouldn't be happy with what we that we, we have to look into it and see you know, again, come back to the drawing board and ask ourselves, what is it that we're doing? And what is it that we want to achieve? You know, um, it's easy to blame the Federation, but um, in this case, no. In this case, no. Because the Federation has never been in the business of raising um, uh, or developing, you know, uh, players. So I'm not going to blame the Federation. So I'm blame ourselves and, you know, our partners and everybody who say we're into uh, junior development and all that don't you think um don't you think one may say that communication didn't go well so that other regions should bring their children or uh, junior players to participate for the justify don't you think the communication didn't go well than blaming the foundations what could, oh you mean the communication what well, that communication was sent the press release came 10 days before the event yes yeah uh, that was there wasn't enough time I don't know how many of the people in the regions also are on uh, on WhatsApp, on our WhatsApp group to see those things, you know. So, yes, the communication. But again, in this case, Gabby, I hate to, I would not blame the Federation for this one. Absolutely not. If, if the Federation had been in the past, had been like raising uh, players and didn't have a succession plan, I'll say yes. The Federation has never been in the business of raising or, or, or developing players. Never. It's always been since I was a kid. It's always been the coaches, the private coaches around. And now we say we have all these big, big, big foundations. We're running around. We're doing so much for so many kids and all that. You know, we just have to look at the strategy as, as the, the things we do to to say we are promoting and preserving the game. Those are the things we have to look at. You know, and for us, we have to, of course, take our whole team, tennis foundation, and we'll take our whole team to task because we've been at the forefront of this for some time now. 
we we know that um, uh, these events will come on, and you know we we sat back and just focused on under eighteen, and we 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 it's inexcusable, it's inexcusable, you know, we have to we have to do better than that. So let's go back to the drawing board. Uh, let's get our team together. Let's say okay. Uh, we're going to go back to the days of the junior league. Let's go back to the days of the junior league. Let's get something going. Let's get something going so that these kids will have, um, uh, you know, a succession plan, a constant training program. Not, oh, okay, in 10 days, we want kids to go to Togo, so just fine question. No, it doesn't work like that. The other thing I want to add to this is, you know, I said something in my, in my opening letter to, to, to the regions that, look, uh, and that's, that had nothing to do with, 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 with it, but since we are talking about succession and stuff, in June, we had, a, we had a women's team go to Lithuania. Didn't do well. Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. in August, we had the uh, men's, the Davis Cup team go to Egypt. Didn't do well, right? What yeah, it's true. Queen now, what should we be doing now? What we should be doing? Look, let me give you an example. I don't know if you've taken an exam and didn't pass before, but I have taken an exam and didn't pass. And as soon as you get home, you get your results, and you know you didn't pass. You go start back, going back and starting, start to learn again, start to read again, start to prepare again for the next year's exam. Same thing. We didn't do well. We get back home, and okay, there's no plan for the girls to do anything. There's no plan for the boys to do anything. The boys at least are playing national rankings. Maybe we'll do a tournament here. Maybe I'm going to do a tournament here. That is not a national strategy. You know, these girls together, and this is why we're trying to host this thing at, at Holy Trinity Spa, where we're going to have teams come from different parts of Africa and compete with our girls here at home, you know? So we, we, it's no secret, you know, we, 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 we talked with some, some um, countries about this. Get the players here. We'll play over, you know, over a week. So our girls will, will be sharp. Will, will be sharp. We have to bear the cost of that. And then another, another maybe couple of months later, we'll do it again. Or maybe they also invite us to go there. But there has to be a way to get these things going. The biggest thing as we do that is we still, just like we do with the ITF juniors, we have to comb the length and breadth of the nation and make sure that every kid in Ghana at least hears about it. If they are good enough, they get to try. If they're not good enough, they say, okay, fine, this is not for me. You know, but we should be able to get like the precious Nunanese from the Volta and then uh, different people from the northern and western parts of the country to all come in and, and be a part of it. Okay, um, let's let's hold on to the junior league again. Um, you started nicely, very well in Accra, and you you moved to Kumasi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you have all, you always talk about the northern region. Are you going to see the junior league going up there? So that they also have a chance of participating. Maybe when there's a call up for under 12, under 14, children up there will also be called into the national team because it has only been Accra and somehow Kumasi. Absolutely, Gabby. And the reason it's only been Accra and Kumasi is because we've all been very, very lazy. We all go where we think, oh, okay, there's a group of people, but the hard work is in the regions and we have to start going there. We, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of the work you did with uh, Mr. Yakubu, you guys going around. The region is organizing these um, ITF, you know, uh, warm-up tournaments so that the winners will come. We have to start doing that. I don't care if it's four, four, four players in a, in, a, in a region. They need to be able to, uh, one, get some coaching, to be able to practice, um, have fun like normal kids. And then when it's time, they also come and represent their regions. That was the best. Thing. We, we, we're blessed with a, with, a, with, you know, with a very diverse country. And we should be able to get everybody into it. If kids, you know, in other regions are not brought into this, then, then we truly not do anything, anything to help develop tennis in the country. You know, you know the, the what's it guy, the coach at um, Bogotanga Tennis Club, when, you know, I met him and he, he, we started talking, we saw that, oh, we are past must have crossed way long back ago. because Matthew. Matthew played, um, played around, uh, along with Franco Fori and all those things. That's, those, those were proud moments. He gave his, his, his share at that time. We should be able to get people or players like that now also who said, hey, I was, you know, I was in that spot. Like, if you ask me, I, know Franco Fori, I can talk about the Frank Boatin, the Francis Boatin, the Edith Boatin, the Ashik Bates. Those are the people that I grew up with. The, uh, what's his name? John John Affles and, 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 and those guys. Steiners, those are the group that I grew up in. They are all from different regions and we all converge in Kofordia and we played, you know? So uh, time for us to go back. What I want to add to this, Gabby, is that 
I know my friends, my friends who, who are currently running the Federation see these things and they're like, oh, wow, you know, Roger's going on a, you know, whatever, you know, after us and all that. It's for all of us to do better. All of us as Ghanaians to do better. It's not because uh, I don't like somebody there or I like, no, it's for all of us to do better. In a true, open and democratic society, this is how things work. You know, if I do something that is not right, you, 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 you can go in the open and say, hey, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with that. I don't agree. With and I can come out with my, my counter argument. The thing that I see with most of the guys there is, oh, heaven forbid you you touch on anything. Then you go to start, you know, uh, name calling and low blows and um, you, you, you sell the donated items and all that. You know, that is not part of the conversation. That is a whole different conversation. If you have an issue with our business model, yeah. that's our business module. That's our business module. Yeah. yeah, when we signed our papers and incorporated that in registration, as you were in there, this is what we set out to do, and it's not a secret, you know. So either you respect <laughs> that and move with it, or you don't. You know, it's 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 it's, it's something else. But I think that look, we've all seen what is what is uh, going on right now. Gradually, we having a little impact here and there with the ITF tournaments. We'll see how well or how far we can go with uh, if we restart the junior league or anything like that again. Hmm. What would you what would you do if the year ends and the federation is not able to organize AGM meeting? No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. According to the constitution, right? I believe it's six weeks. I didn't write the constitution. I was not part of the consultative group that put it together. They put it together. Okay. I believe yeah. the advice who have been there for for what eight eight years total or more. You were part of the group that, that put it together. Is that six weeks? After the notice when you're supposed to hold, hold the meeting, I haven't heard from the second yeah. now. I've only heard from members of some of, the, of some of the members of the constitutional committee. So we'll see how that plays out. But I can tell you that uh, we also plus a far advance that if by the end of October we don't get a notification that says that AGM is going to come on on this day, that then before the end of uh, October we will um, host an AGM. Or, or an EGM, emergency general meeting, who we'll holds that and then we'll put the minutes together and send it back to the to the federation. Okay. I mean, so this is all within, this is all within the, the, the 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 this is what the constitution says we should do. It's not breaking the law, but oh, right or oh, going go, going yeah, yeah. Rogue, going. yeah. This is what no. the constitution says we should do. So that's what we'll do. Okay. So how would you rate the the federation great for this year how would you no, rate no, no, the no, Ghana stop, tennis federation? stop 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 i don't get into that stop no i mean <laughs> so, <laughs> so your, this your shows, final submission this shows this shows you know sometimes you know, people think maybe i know some of these questions before you ask it but this show i don't even know what you're going to ask me i'm just doing your round table and i'll do your round table that's it but All right. no, 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 we are not. We are not getting into that. You have to understand okay. something, Gabby. This is what they are doing their very best. A lot of everybody there is a professional with their own jobs. They are family people with their own families. There's different things going on. Um, tennis is not the number one thing on their mind. You know, I know that. This is, even even for those of us who um, tennis is our uh, uh, what's it called? You know, we eat, breathe, and sleep tennis. Sometimes it's not the number one thing when you wake up. Family is always number one. You understand that? The only thing okay. that I that I think oh. to be done differently is that for those people um, who currently find themselves in that position or the helm of affairs, they, they, they should easily, easily reach out. Like, reach out to people who, who you think can, can help and do that. You know what I mean? Rather than the little vindictiveness, reach out to people who you think can, can help. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be for um your 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 glory you know what i mean like you 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 will say look it was um during your time that this happened in that time and that that that, that happened like we all say about the other and his, his great times at the at the uh, um at the association back right then and of course uh squad okay let me let me ask you this uh what what can you say about uh programs for all the fund uh, the foundation foundation tennis foundation this year how would you rate the foundation's performance this year jesus what do you mean rate 
rate the, the no, how how would you how would you i mean hope has done something and wakubu afu has done something um tennis oh, foundation I, gonna keep, uh, also no, all i can tell you is that tennis tennis not soccer has been since this pandemic tennis not soccer has been the number one sport that has not slept there's every month there is something every week there's something there is something there is something and that is what i think that the ministry uh through the national sports authority should recognize and give tennis all the help as for rating individual foundations and all that every like us you know we have our own internal processes of what we do a little you know meetings here and there, yeah. one-on-one -on -one meetings with all of you guys and do some, those are the things that we need to do to to rate how we've done how have we done this year how have we as tennis foundation done this year have yeah we, this is the best yeah. we absolutely not absolutely not I, i'll say i'll say we are slightly over the 50 percent out but it's you know it's where we find ourselves right now and we'll, we'll, we'll push i mean it's no secret that the the um pandemic uh didn't help a lot of us but that's no excuse also you know so anyway okay i get it i get it so three months to the year end what will your foundation be doing within this three months before the year ends then we start that's a new year what will you be doing before the year <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, we have we we have a couple programs. Uh, hopefully, some of our, our neighbors, like I said, some of our neighbors from um, West uh, and East Africa come through with with you know uh, sending players and some of the private foundations. Remember that now we have sister foundations. We have Tennis Foundation Nigeria and we have Tennis Foundation Kenya, and they are all they were all born okay. out of Tennis Foundation Ghana in the sense that we you know basically influence them to start something similar so those those people have players as well uh who are who are all represented on their national teams and hopefully you were to come through and bring this this kids especially the girls to ghana for us to play some um matches against them just so we can test how ready our girls are and we'll improve our girls you know and then like i said some time from now we can we can go there as well and do the same thing so and that's what we're looking forward to i don't think we have any more ITS, but like i said um, we'll have to find partners to to start the the junior league like as soon as possible. We should, we should. Just not having an right. else is just is just not a good thing. All right. So your final submission before we call it a day. Um, listen, as a great work as always. Um, just don't wake me up uh, this early in the morning and say, "Hey, hey we do it a, a round table." But um, <laughs> it's good. It's good. Um, I took time off work to to be because I know how this is how important this is to you. So uh, keep doing it, and um, hopefully next next week will be I'll be more prepared. <laughs> or whoever you 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 choose to talk to uh, will be will be more prepared. But again, listen, we all have to be open. We all have to contribute. This is this is for the country. This is not for one person. You know, this is for the country. We all have to. Uh, do this things. So, uh, thanks again for 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 having me, Gabby. All right, thank you very much. And that's it for today. Speaking to the chairman of Tennis Foundation Ghana, chairman, president, leader of Tennis Foundation Ghana, Mr. Richard Crawford. <laughs> nice time with you. Thank you, Gabby. Talk soon. Okay, bye. All right, bye.